Hey folks, this is Hardcore Course Updates and Reviews. Um, tonight I'm going to be doing a review on one of Unearthed Film's Visceral Between the Ropes of Madness. This just came out a few weeks ago. I was really looking forward to this. I saw the trailer a few, well I'd say about a month or two ago. And um, it looked really good from the trailer, so I decided to pick this up. Um, I usually do enjoy whatever Unearth Films put out. They always put out some good stuff. Um, but this role is, I think it's a either from Spain or a South American film, because they're speaking Spanish in this, so I don't know, maybe Mexico, I don't know. Um, so it was it had English subtitles which I don't mind some people don't like that but that didn't bother me any um, it's about a boxer that uh, who has the biggest fight of his life an opportunity to be a star um, blows it and it kind of shows his descent into madness um, the film kind of goes in the flashbacks so like shows some of the stuff he does like he kind of jumps around but that that really wasn't a problem. Um, it wasn't, it, it wasn't hard to follow, um, it was filmed in a unique style, I liked the style the director went with it, it was real dark, um, there's like no humor in this film, it was a real serious film, uh, the way this guy tortured his victims was really, really cruel, the, the kills in, um, this film are really cruel and, um, just brutal, um, this guy is a total fucking madman. Um, the guy who played the madman, he did a really good job. Um, yeah, I mean, it, there really, really wasn't too much of it. There was a small backstory about the guy. He had mommy problems and um, um, just, I guess, issues with self-esteem. And basically this female demon comes to him and starts doing all this fucking sh weird shit to him, brutal stuff to him, and makes him go out and get victims for um, this demon wants their souls, I guess. I don't know. But that was kind of cool. She wears this weird mask. She's kind of na She's half naked. Um, it's actually on the cover, what she looks like. But, um, yeah, he starts getting all these victims and just really fucks them up. Uh, there was one where he tied uh, a couple together. Like, they were kissing and he killed the one guy and left her left the girl there kissing the guy tied up and he's rotting and shit and there's like maggots coming out of his eye that's pretty nasty um as far as the gore and splatter goes um it, there was pretty good effects i mean there wasn't anything that was i'd say really great like oh off it and box uh special effects i mean there were some parts where he'd show him cutting people and there you see his blood hitting the floor but um as far as the gore there was also some skull fucking uh, that's kind of becoming a theme in some films that was a pretty interesting scene where the guy was skull fucking one of his victims and she was alive yeah it's pretty uh pretty brutal but uh, it, the film's not too long it's only about an hour an hour and five minutes I'd say so um, it was pretty quick I wish it was longer um, I highly do recommend this if you get a chance pick one up really good make makeup gore really dark film I enjoyed it a lot so pick one up and that's my review and I'm gonna to try to get another one out by this weekend but um, yeah have a gory one <laughs>